It so happened. Supplementary reader in English for class eight. Chapter five. Princess September. Page thirty-four. Princess September, like each one of her numerous sisters, receives the gift of a parrot in a golden cage on her father's birthday. The parrot dies, and by chance, a singing bird comes in its place. The princess shows off her pet to the sisters, who advise her to put it in a cage. Now the text: The king and queen of Siam had many daughters, and the queen said that it confused her to have to remember so many names. One day, the king decided to call them: January, February, March. Though of course, in Siamese. till he came to the youngest whom he called september the king of siam had a peculiar habit instead of receiving gifts on his birthday he gave them one year on his birthday not having anything else handy he gave each of his daughters a green parrot in a golden cage the princesses were very proud of their parrots and they spent an hour every day in teaching them to talk presently all the parrots could say god save the king and some of them could say pretty polly in no less than seven oriental languages now the word meaning siam now thailand handy means immediately available oriental means of the east the orient means countries of the far east it opposites the occident page 35 but one day when princess september went to say good morning to her parrot she found it lying dead at the bottom of its golden cage she burst into a flood of tears and nothing that her maids of honor could say comforted her she cried so much that the maids of honor not knowing what to do told the queen and the queen said it was stuff and nonsense and the child had better go to bed without any supper the maids of honor wanted to go to a party so they put princess september to bed as quickly as they could and left her by herself and while she lay in her bed crying still even though she felt rather hungry she saw a little bird hop into her room she wiped her tears and sat up then the little bird began to sing and uh, he sang a beautiful song all about the lake in the king's garden and the willow trees that looked at themselves in the still water and the gold fish that glided in and out of the branches that were reflected in it when he had finished the princess was not crying any more and she quite forgot that she had had no supper that was a very nice song she said now the word meaning maids of honor means women attending the princess page 36 the little bird gave her a bow would you care to have me in place of your parrot said the little bird it's true that i am not so pretty to look at but on the other hand I have a much better voice. Princess September clapped her hands with delight, and then the little bird hopped on to the end of her bed and sang her to sleep. When she awoke next day, the little bird was still there, and as she opened her eyes, he said, "Good morning." The maids of honor brought in her breakfast, and he ate rice out of her hand, and he had his bath. in her saucer he began to sing again so beautifully that the maids of honor were quite surprised for they had never heard anything like it and princess september was very proud and happy now i want to show you to my eight sisters said the princess she stretched out her first finger of her right hand so that it served as a perch and the little bird flew down and sat on it 
followed by her maids of honor she went through the palace and called on each of the princesses and for each of them the little bird sang a different song but the parrots could only say god save the king and pretty polly at last she showed the little bird to the king and the queen they were surprised and delighted i know i was right to send you to bed without any supper said the queen this bird sings much better than the parrots said the king i should have thought you got quite tired of hearing people say god save the king said the queen i can't think why those girls wanted to teach their parrots to say it too the sentiment is admirable said the king and uh, i never mind how often i hear it but uh, i do get tired of hearing those parrots say pretty polly they say it in seven different languages said the princesses i dare say they do said the king but it reminds me too much of my counselors they say the same thing in seven different ways and it never means anything in any way they say it now the word meaning perch place where a bird sits on rests i dare say means i agree or accept that is true page 37 now the text the princess were vexed at this and the parrots looked very glum indeed but princess september ran through all the rooms of the palace singing like a lark while the little bird flew around and round her singing like a nightingale things went on like this for several days and then the eight princesses put their heads together they went to september and sat down in a circle round her my poor september they said we are sorry for the death of your beautiful parrot it must be dreadful for you not to have a pet bird as we have so we have all put our pocket money together and we are going to buy you a lovely green and yellow parrot thank you for nothing said september i have a pet bird which sings the most charming songs to me and i don't know what on earth i should do with a green and yellow parrot well my dear they said it's absurd to talk of your bird when the little fellow flies in and out just as he likes they looked round the room and raised their eyebrows word meaning vexed means distressed worried glum means sad put their heads together means discussed amongst themselves to take a decision page 38 do you mind our asking where your bird is now they said he has gone to pay a visit to his father in law said princess september and what makes you think he will come back asked the princesses he always does come back said september well my dear said the eight princesses if you will take our advice you won't run away risk like that if he comes back and mind you if he does you will be lucky pop him into the cage and keep him there that's the only way you can be sure of him but i like to have him fly about the room said the young princess september safety first said her sisters ominously they got up and walked out of the room shaking their heads and they left september very uneasy comprehension check 1 how many daughters did the royal couple have 2 why were they named after the months of the year 3 the king had a peculiar habit what was it why it is called peculiar one of four what was princess september's reaction to the loss of her parrot two of four what was her mother's reaction to it three of four what do the reactions indicate about the nature and temperament of each five what pulled the princess out of her gloom 6 how did the maids of honor come to know that the princess and the bird had become intimate friends
7. The new bird was full of new songs, but the old parrots always repeated themselves. What did they say? 8. What is the king's opinion about his counselors? Why did he form that opinion? 1 of 9. The eight princesses made an offer to Princess September. What was it? 2. Why, in your view, did they do it? 10. What did the sisters advise the princess to do about her bird? Now the word meaning pop means put or push. Ominously means threateningly. Suggesting that something bad was about to happen. Page 39 Part 2 Some points to ponder. Princess September loves the bird far too much to take chances and acts upon her sister's advice. The bird cannot overcome the loss of freedom. Princess September decides to put the bird's happiness above her own. Now the text. It seemed to Princess September that her little bird had been away a long time. Something might have happened to him. What with hawks and with snares, you never know that trouble he might get into. Besides, he might forget her or he might take a fancy to somebody else. That would be dreadful. She wished he were safely back again. Suddenly, September heard a tweet tweet just behind her ear and she saw a little bird sitting on her shoulder. He had come in so quietly and alighted so softly that she had not heard him. I wondered what on earth had become of you, said the princess. I thought you would wonder that, said the little bird. The fact is, I very nearly didn't come back tonight at all. My father-in-law was giving a party and they all wanted me to stay, but I thought you would be anxious. Under the circumstances, this was very unfortunate remark for the little bird to make. September felt her heart go thump against her chest and she made up her mind to take no more risks. She put up her hand and took hold of the bird. Now the word meaning snares means traps for catching birds or animals. Alighted means came down. Page 40 The bird suspected nothing and was so surprised when she carried him over to the cage, popped him in and shut the door on him that for a moment he could think of nothing to say. But in a moment or two, he hopped up to the ivory perch and said, What is the joke? There is no joke, said September. But some of Mama's cats were prowling about tonight and I think you were much safer in there. Well, just for this once I don't mind, said the little bird, so long as you let me out in the morning. He ate a very good supper and then began to sing. But in the middle of his song, he stopped. I don't know what is the matter with me, he said, but I don't feel like singing tonight. Very well, said September, go to sleep instead. So, he put his head under his wing and in a minute was fast asleep. September went to sleep too. But when the dawn broke, she was awakened by the little bird calling her at the top of his voice. Wake up! Wake up! He said. Open the door of this cage and let me out. I want to have a good fly while the dew is still on the ground. You are much better off where you are, said September. Let me out, let me out, said the little bird. And he tried to slip through the bars of the cage, but of course couldn't. And he beat against the door, but of course he couldn't open it. Then the eight princesses came in and looked at him. They told September she was very wise to take their advice. They said, he would soon get used to the cage and in a few days would quite forget he had ever been free. The little bird said nothing at all while they were there. But as soon as 
they were gone, he began to cry again. Let me out. Let me out. Word meaning prowling means moving about quietly. Page 41 Don't be such an old silly, said September. I have put you in the cage because I am so fond of you. I know what's good for you much better than you do yourself. Sing me a little song and I will give you a piece of sugar. But the little bird stood in the corner of his cage looking out at the blue sky and never sang a note. What's the good of sulking? said September. Why don't you sing and forget your troubles? How can I sing? answered the bird. I want to see the trees and the lake and the green rice growing in the fields. I will take you out every day, she said. It's not the same thing, said the little bird. The rice fields and the lake and the willow trees look quite different when you see them through the bar of a cage. The bird wouldn't sing a song and he wouldn't eat a thing. The princess was a little anxious at this and asked her sisters what they thought about it. You must be firm, they said. But if he won't eat, he will die, she answered. That would be very ungrateful of him, they said. He must know that you are only thinking of his own good. If he is obstinate and dies, it will serve him right and you will be well rid of him. September didn't see how that was going to do her very much good. But they were eight to one and all older than she, so she said nothing. Perhaps he will have got used to his cage by tomorrow, she said. And the next day when she awoke, she cried out, Good morning, in a cheerful voice. She got no answer. She jumped out of bed and ran to the cage. She gave a startled cry. For there the little bird lay at the bottom, on his side, with his eyes closed. And he looked as if he were dead. Page 42 She opened the door and putting her hand in lifted him out. She gave a sob of relief. For she felt that his little heart was beating still. Wake up, wake up little bird, she said. She began to cry and her tears fell on the little bird. He opened his eyes and saw that the bars of the cage were no longer around him. I cannot sing unless I am free. And if I cannot sing, I die, he said. The princess gave a great sob. Then take your freedom, she said. I shut you on a golden cage because I loved you and wanted to have you all to myself. But I never knew it would kill you. I love you enough to let you be happy in your own way. She threw open the window and gently placed the little bird on the sill. He shook himself a little. Come and go as you will, little bird, she said. I will never put you in a cage any more. I will come back because I love you, little princess, said the bird. And I will sing you the loveliest song I know. I shall go far away, but I shall always come back. And uh, I shall never forget you. Page 43 He gave himself another shake. Good gracious me, how stiff I am, he exclaimed. Then he opened his wings and flew right away into the blue. But the little princess burst into tears. For it is very difficult to put the happiness of someone you love before your own. And with her little bird far out of sigh she felt. All of a sudden very lonely. When her sisters knew what had happened, they mocked her and said, that the little bird would never return. But he did at last, and he sat on September's shoulder and ate out of her hand and sang her the beautiful song he had learned while he was flying up and down the fair places of the world. September kept her window open day and night so that the little bird might come into her room whenever he felt inclined, and this was very good for her. So she grew extremely beautiful. 
and when she was old enough she married the king of cambodia and was carried on a white elephant all the way to the city in which the king lived but her sisters never slept with their windows open so they grew extremely ugly as well as disagreeable and when the time came to marry them off they were given away the king's counselor with a pound of tea and a siamese cat by somerset mogham slightly abridged comprehension check 1 in the following sentence elaborate the parts given in bold under the circumstances it was a very unfortunate remark for the bird to make one of two what did princess september do to ensure the safety of her pet two of two how did the bird react to it three why did the bird refuse to be taken out her eh eh three why did the bird refuse to be taken out in her cage one of four what persuaded princess september to give the bird his freedom again two of four how did the bird react to it five princess september kept her window open day and night one how did it help the bird two how did it help the princess herself six the eight sisters kept their windows shut how did it affect them word meaning disagreeable means unpleasant page 44 Exercise. Discuss the following questions in small groups. Write their answers later. One. Are the sisters unkind and cruel? Find evidence in the text to support your idea. Two. Which to you is the most important idea in this story and why? One. Importance of music. Two. Value of freedom. Three. Beauty of nature. Think it over. There are two ways to study butterflies chase them with nets then inspect their dead bodies or sit quietly in a garden and watch them dance among the flowers freedom practices its own logic it puts a bouquet of rights in your right hand and a basket of duties in your left hand this is merely to help you walk straight to be free is to be disciplined who knew it better than a young enthusiast walking down the road swinging his arms widely when he accidentally hit an old gentleman on the tip of his nose the man asked what do you think you are doing i am sorry said the enthusiast but it's free country i am swinging my arms remember advised the old man your freedom ends where my nose begins it so happened You were just listening to this audio book. Production assistance, Meenakshi Kukreti, recorded by Bati Lang Lingdo. Technical assistance, Vikas Sangwan, produced by Ajit Horu, and presented by C I E T N C E R T, New Delhi, 2021.